In this lesson, we'll discuss two questions based on the orthogonality in inner product spaces. The first question reads, two vectors u and v in an inner product space are called orthogonal if the inner product of u and v is equal to zero. Suppose p, q, and r are defined as given below. Take a look, they are quadratics. Are p and q orthogonal? So I will treat these three quadratic equations as vectors. The first vector will be p, and it will have the components 1, 1, and negative 1. q will have the components 2, negative 1, and 1. And r will have the components, this constant is the first, and we're missing the x term, so it's 0 and 5. Now we're told right in the question that the inner product of two vectors u and v when it's equal to zero, then they are orthogonal. Orthogonal means at right angle to each other. So let's prove that P and Q are orthogonal. Well, let's see if they are. So the inner product of vector P and vector Q, to find the inner product, we multiply the first components together. So one times two plus one times negative one plus negative one times one. So if this ends up being zero, then they're orthogonal. We end up with 2 minus 1 minus 1, and that is 0. Therefore, P and Q are at right angle to each other. What about P and R? So this time we have the vector R. 1 times 1 plus 1 times 0 plus negative 1 times 5. The sum of these ends up being negative 5. So these two are not at right angle to each other. In question number two, find the inner product of this expression and that expression given that the inner product of u and v is equal to three, the norm of u is equal to two, that's the geometric length of u, and the norm of v is equal to four. Also, w is a unit vector, and remember what a unit vector is, it's one that is defined as a vector whose magnitude is one. u and w are orthogonal and so is v and w. According to the properties of inner products, we have to treat this expression as if it's a polynomial being multiplied by a binomial. In case that's confusing, think of it like this. u plus v minus 2w, that's a polynomial, multiplied to the binomial 5u plus 7w. We will expand this expression. We end up with 5 and the inner product of u and u. I multiplied these two together and I'll multiply u and 7w together. We get plus 7uw. The order of these two doesn't matter. And we do it again for v. v times 5w. If you've noticed we are using the distributive properties here. Plus 5v and u plus seven V and W. And lastly, this one with these two, minus 10 W U minus 14 W W. Now using the hints that they've given us in the question, we can actually figure this out. We are told that the norm of U is equal to two. The norm of U is the same thing as saying the inner product of u and u raised to the power of half. So that number is equal to the following expression. If I square both sides, I end up with that part, five times four. That's a four, not a y. Okay, the next part. This time the inner product of u and w we're told that it's orthogonal, so this part will equal to zero, and this term will go to zero. Now we have v and u. Well, they tell us it's three. So plus five times three, plus seven times v and w. They're orthogonal. Multiply by zero, it's nothing. Minus 10 w u. That's easy again, u and w is orthogonal. And lastly, minus 14 and this part, the inner product of w. We're told that w is a unit vector, so that's like saying the norm of w raised to the power of two. 
in order for it to have a magnitude of 1, w has to equal to 1. So if we calculate this correctly, we have 20 plus 15 minus 14 gives us positive 21. That's the answer to question number two, and that is how to take into account orthogonality when calculating the inner product.